Windy City sports fans were treated to a gust of great golf on Friday. DJ 63 led the way, but his lead is only three shots over Aussie Cameron Smith and four over Matthew Wolfe. The team competition is even closer. The four aces lead, which is a familiar sight, but Punch, the Majestics, the Crushers and the High Flyers all play decent hands. It's golf's most electrifying show, and the world's best are ready to take the stage for day two. Remember, all 48 players out on the golf course at the same time, an individual contest, 12 teams competing. And remember, two of the four scores today will count towards the team total. DeChambeau with an iron on the tee at 18. Downwind. It's, yeah, and the wind a little stronger than it was yesterday. He can probably get this all the way down onto the flat. Just getting past it. Uh, down that slope, and that's perfect. That's a long iron. Yeah, he said that about 350 yards. Mm -hmm. Waco, as he's known mm -hmm. on social media. At Waco, Joaquin Neiman. Beauty. Anurban Lahiri, his second shot at the eighth, and the breeze today is up. This golf course might be a shot or so harder than it was yesterday. And that's a lovely shot from Lahiri. Neiman. Yeah. Curly Whirly at number five. They were staying out yesterday. Back to one and Cam Smith. We're going to see a big flop here. Best short game in the world. He needs every bit of it right here. Oh, how good is that? Yes. <laughs> So good. Even he said it, that's so good. Laurie Cantor for Eagle at 18. We've seen some two underscores on this hole. Laurie Cantor's going to add to it. Great start for Laurie to four under par. Action happening everywhere around the golf course. Abe answer 33 at the 10th. Kokrak drove the green at the 12th, a team smash, and then Gray McDowell, GMAC, for his birdie. Harold Farner is part of the struggling Niblicks, but he's doing his best to get them up the leaderboard in the team competition. That was for a birdie, he is four under par. James Pyatt, birdie at 12 for the Niblicks, they're starting to hold a few putts. The strugglers, Phil Mickelson, three under par. Tee shot at 16 for the high flyers. And that roar will tell you all you need to know. Oh, it wasn't far away, was it? But a certain birdie there for Phil. Carlos Ortiz for his birdie at 18 for the fireballs. And it just seems like the puts are dropping a little bit more in the early stages. Mm -hmm. Our first look today at Charles Schwartz, the winner of our inaugural event at Centurion in London. Oh, that's beautiful. Simple bunker shot, but made it look very easy. The third, the fourth, and the fifth, as we look at Brooks Kepka here, um, it's kind of the pivotal stretch of the golf course. Nice. Hashtag live golf for anybody's suggestions around the world. Laurie Kansas is making a move, isn't he, Laurie? At an eagle at 18. He birdie there, five under par for Laurie Kansas. Sam Horsfield at 17. He's driven it a long way up here, just through the fairway. Well, it's difficult to get anything on that coming downwind. He did it. Matt Jones on the tee at five. Sue Ann. The wind is blowing today, making the golf course play really differently. Do not want to be long here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. What a shot. Yeah, it doesn't come much closer than that. Just looked like it almost grazed the left edge. Right, DJ hit a beautiful tee shot here yesterday, right on the left side of the fairway, and he's looking left over these trees. Yeah, he's got a fairway wood as well. He's got to tighten it up a little bit today. It's been a bit sloppy. He likes that one. Bryson DeChambeau throughout the first pitch at the White Sox game on Wednesday. Played it safe. How's he playing this one? That had quite a bit more velocity on that iron shot than that pitch did the other night. The 
Let's get you caught up with the action elsewhere at Rich Harvest Farms. Jed Morgan, birdie at 15 for Team Talk. 76 yesterday for Jed. Taylor Gooch, birdie at 18 for the four aces. And Brandon Grace, our champion in Portland. That was the birdie at the par 5, 18th. He's three under par now. more like what we saw yesterday. Bryson for birdie at the third. It's a quick one. Oh. Agony. HV3. Harold rounding at the form. HV3 at two. Slips it past the left edge. Tev, you're doing aim point here. You need two hands. This has got a lot of break and it's really hard at the end. Yeah, we've got a good look at it. What a putt. Oh. <laughs> what a putt from Cameron Smith. Right. Good five feet of break. It's just a gift. Cameron Smith to within a shot of our leader, Dustin Johnson. He moves to eight under par. Oh. Oh. Phil, second shot of the par five last. Good chance there for Eagle. Here's the captain of our leaders. It's a little left. Mm. It looks like it's plugged. Uh, didn't judge the wind correctly there. Mickelson for Eagle at 18. This would bring the house down. Phil made his birdie, four under par, five off the lead. Back to Cam at five. Uh, that club piece is not aiming a whole lot right at the hole. He's just going to stick this in the sand behind it, let it pop out. What a shot, Cam. What a shot. What a shot from a difficult lie, just the touch of a surgeon. Birdie put here for Anubat Lahiri. He was two over at one stage early yesterday. Is to go to two under par. Made the playoff, remember, in Boston. And easy as you like for Anuban Lahiri, who goes to two under, and that's better news as well for the Crushers in the team competition. Oh, playing his third. Par five seven. Gosh, it's poetry in motion watching that golf swing. Well, let's get you caught up. Action around the golf course in Don't Blink. Taylor Gooch was five under early yesterday. This is his third at the second hole. Oh, close, 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 close. Close. There. Yeah, made his birdie. Back to one under overall. Brandon Grace. Same hole for birdie. Four and a par so far for Brandon Grace, there or thereabouts. Scotty Vincent's having a good tournament. That was for Birdie at the same hole, the second. Team Punch retake the lead in the team contest, thanks to Matt Jones, who rolls that in. Punch first, four aces second. What can Louis Oosthuizen do here for Stinger? Bucket. <laughs> The breeze is getting up around Rich Harvest Farm. Sergio Garcia, second shot at the 10th. Sergio, one under overall, thanks to his birdie there, which he would complete for the fireballs. Jason Kokrak, second shot at 17. Looking to get into the negatives. Beautiful shot he would make a birdie three there. Richard Bland, the birdie at 13. 
Richard, part of the cliques who are going well today. Four under par and a healthy sixth place for them. Here's the high flyers captain, Phil Mickelson at two. And an awkward length of a bunker shot for most people. Not so much for him. Beautifully played. DJ now. He, I think he needs to land it where Smith landed it because his ball's going to spin a lot more. Where he's going to be pin high here. And the crowd roared. And to Shambo in trouble. Trying to cut one out. Are you serious? Oh. Wow, what a shot on the seventh hole. Oh. DeChambeau, this is eagle putt. Yeah, I mean, after the shot of the event, I think, so far. Will likely be the only eagle putt of the day. Yeah. At that hole. Hmm. Kevin Na playing his second at the first. I got to tell you a little story about Bubba. Hearing him talk about the team competition is very refreshing because nobody Have believes in it more than Bubba. Right. Mm -hmm. Last year, on his own dime, he called the Solheim Cup captain Pat Hurst and went up to Toledo just to try and lend support to the U.S. team. Was there the whole week with his wife Angie and became an unofficial team helper. And it meant so much to the ladies on both teams that somebody of Bubba Watson's stature would lend his support to the women's game. Joaquin Neiman, second at number 12. Went for the green or getting as close as he could from the front bunker there. Oh, was that any good? Look at that. <laughs> this is Neiman for birdie. <laughs> Have we seen Ian Poulter so far today? Not yet, till now. And what a time to see him. Schwarzel with his third of the 11. Light. Yes. Look at this. Oh! Your U line gets it to three under par and helping. Team smash. Maybe. Do something this week. Oh, and Harold Garner over at the eighth also slips one in. Oh, that Sergio. Scotty Pippen's favorite player. Lee Westwood is moving up the pylon. This was for his birdie and 13. Saw the lovely iron shot right at the flag. One under for today. For Lee Westwood, five under overall. Majestics are in fourth. A birdie put here at ten for Laurie Cantor. Of the cliques, makes that six under par for Laurie. Sergio at 17, his approach. Second shot. Tough hole yesterday. Toughest on the course. Fortune's improving for Sergio, it seems. One under for the tournament so far. Joaquin Neiman. Breaks right a little bit for Neiman. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, no. Oh, that's, that's those flag sticks are hard as a rock. Laurie Cantor is four under today. This is his fourth shot of the 11th. Oh, delightful. Don't blink time. Eugenio and Chuck Carter of the Fireballs. His second shot at the 15th is a par four. Oh. You will not be shocked to hear he made his birdie. Sergio Garcia, his captain for birdie and 17. Two under today for Sergio. Martin Keimer from Dusseldorf, Germany, a two-time major winner, of course. Two of the 22 majors in the field. Second at the second. He did make a birdie at that hole, and Hutzwaff is third at the second for Bubba's Niblicks, and he would make a birdie there, Hudson Swafford. 
Lusty. Kick in. Matthew Wolf, seven to play, three under par. This for a much needed birdie. Oh, thank you. Just hit a fabulous tee shot through the back of the green. Manages to get it up and down. That'll make him feel a little better. James Pyatt, former U.S. amateur champion, his second out at number six. Beautiful. Peter Uline is second. 17th hole. Much less difficult hole today than yesterday. Beautiful. Peter Uline. Yeah, well done. That at the 17th for Birdie to get it to five under par. DJ in the bunker here at 14. Well, he had no shot for a second. I think he was trying to play it into the front bunker. Ooh, might have got a little spin on it. Let's go. Yeah. So uh, that's pretty impressive there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a better part. He, he spent a lot of time with me, Jerry. Might just be you. <laughs> Schwartzel is second at 17. Still the hardest hole on the course, but about a half a shot easier than day one. Oh my. Catches the flag stick on the way down, or maybe just the flag itself. Peter Uline is third at the par 5, 18th. Is that all easy? Good shot. Playing nicely. Peter Uline is moving up the pylon. This for his birdie to go to six under par, five under for today. Carlos Ortiz on the 13th. A long range. Birdie. Oh, is... oh man. Well, it was a fine effort. Long range for Cam Smith for par. Oh. Wow. Just when you think he might drop one. Well, he stays on the coattails of Dustin Johnson. With that stroke of genius, eight under par, DJ nine under. Well, generally today, I think he's he's hit these a little too hard, the ones from this distance. He takes a lot of break, but he's hit it through the break on three occasions. This big part stay in the lead. Yes. What a read from Austin right there. Again, Uline, hot hand on the course. Five under par leads the rounds of the day. Right oh. And that's going to help even more. Okay, well, Cam Smith now, who looked, uh, you know, to be in not such a good spot off the tee, is uh, all of a sudden with a good one here, can make some ground up. Yeah. This is a dot compared to the other two. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Just lands it like a sack of spuds. At 17, this is where our lead group is. Yeah. A dart from Cameron Smith, just at the right moment. Huge putt here for Cam Smith. This for the outright lead. Right in the middle for Cam Smith. Dustin Johnson for par to avoid slipping two strokes behind our new leader, Cam Smith. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a fun duel tomorrow. You line now for one heck of a round. And to tie the team lead for Smash. Oh, that was a good effort. Really good. Well, he's in contention, Peter Uline. The top of the pylon, and he's got smashing contention for the podium as well. Oh, it's right at it. And it jumped on him. Pretty impressive set. 
and 18. A lot of energy still, even nearing the end as we check back in on Lori Cantor. This for Birdie. Difficult 17. And he's not out of it either. No. He's moved to within three of the lead. This one looks interesting for Cam Smith. I can see a situation where they're all square at the end of the day, or DJ's two back. It could be either way. No. Oh. Smith for the two-shot lead, and he's got it. And a two-shot swing. Ten under par heading into the final day for Cam Smith. Dustin Johnson is human after all. One over on the day. First time Dustin's been over par for a round in Live Golf. Uline was six under today. The Smash, easily the best team on the day today. Ten under par for the day, so they're in contention on 13 under going into the final day. We would dearly love you to join us again tomorrow. We are set fair for a barnstorming final day at Rich Harvest Farms. It should be a belter from the entire Live Golf team. Thanks for your company. We'll see you in just less than 19 hours time. Goodbye for now.